Carlson has re-signed! I mean John Carlson, not Eric Carlson. Sorry, Senator fans. Although it is fun to knock you while you're down. Uh, John Carlson of the Washington Capitals has re-signed 8x8. Now this was leaked uh, about 24 hours ago that this probably was going to happen, then it was made official about 12 hours ago. So let's run through it, shall we? He signs for 8 years at 8 million dollar, oh my god! And that's the general sprout of the online community, is holy Jesus, is that a lot of money? Uh, this now makes Carlson the second highest paid defender. Looking at you, PK Subban. All that money. When bridge deals go wrong. Starring Mark Bergevin. He now becomes the second highest paid defenseman. Uh, and for about another week, and then Oliver Ekman laughs and says, Hold on, hold my beer. I'm the second highest paid defenseman, sir. So everyone is saying he's been overpaid. Well, let's look at it this way. Without giving up assets, and a lot of assets, this is the best defender the Washington Capitals can get. For the foreseeable future. And all that cost them was money. That's not the worst thing in the world. Eight million dollars for some, a player that did really well the last two seasons. He's sixth overall if you combine the last two seasons and points in, amongst defensemen. And he's an integral part of this team. And you know what? You, you, when you win a Stanley Cup, people go and get paid. So yeah, it is a lot, but guess what? He was going to get this in free agency. So you can't really say that like Washington have been ripped off or anything. This was the only way to make sure A, you get the best defenseman available for them, and B, that he doesn't walk away and then you get nothing for him. But let's get into some fun, goofy stats when it comes to dollars, because you know I love that. First up, and this is just his signing bonus, can afford this house in Washington that is six bedrooms and six bathrooms. With just enough money left over to head down to the local Honda dealership and get this lovely 1998 Honda Accord. Although 5,000, are you dreaming? Per game, if you take out a tax, he averages $97,560, which is the exact amount of money that the Syracuse University need to raise awareness about their library, to then raise more funds. It seems very counterproductive. No one... Does anyone go to the library anymore? Is that still a thing? So this is going to be very interesting when we start looking at Dowdy and Eric Carlson, who are going to get a lot more money than this when they sign. And it's just a sign of the times, like, you, a lot of people compared it to, like, the Hedman contract and a few others, but that contract was signed a little bit ago, and, you know, this is 2018, and he's a Stanley Cup champion. Anyway, what did you think of the deal? I liked it. I, I, I liked it. But, I mean, what, are they going to, you know, let him walk away for nothing? They had to do it, and, you know, they got a good... Good-ish number. I mean, it could have probably been a bit worse. It could have been nine, really. Not only are you signing him, you're also preventing a team that you verse from having him. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button. Otherwise, comment down below. Uh, well, how much do you think that 1998 Honda Accord is worth? Oh, I'd say like two, two, three thousand. That's like this 20-year-old car. He wants five grand US. That's like a million Australian dollars. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of boomerang and didgeridoos. But anyway, I think it's a good uh, deal. Uh, but yeah, comment down below. What do you guys think? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and bye.